so hello friends in this video we are going to discuss another uh, important drug category and the uh, anti epi that is lamotrigine and along with lamotrigine we will also discuss other drugs also mechanism of action it causes uh, inactivation of sodium channel and prolong just inactive state of sodium channel it also inhibit your calcium channel it also inhibit your glutamatrelase and because of this three mechanism of action you can put this lamotrigine drug under broad spectrum anti epileptic drug now what are the indications for this uh, drug so first is your epilepsy it is the second drug of choice for generalized epilepsy remember this lamotrigine is the second drug of choice for generalized epilepsy this is first drug of choice for focal epilepsy in cases of focal epilepsy your lamotrigine is the drug of choice now it is also used for treatment of status epilepticus okay and this is the most important mcq question that is lamotrigine is the safest anti epileptic drug in pregnancy okay lamotrigine is the safest anti epileptic drug in pregnancy this is very important point okay so in epilepsy we have to remember the, uh, the three important points second drug of choice for generalized epilepsy drug of choice for focal epilepsy and the safest anti epileptic drug in pregnancy and one question you have to answer in the comment box that is which is the first drug of choice for generalized epilepsy and which is the first line drug Uh, can be used for focal focal epilepsy. These two you have to answer in the comment box. Now the second is indication is your neuralgia. Third indication is migraine prophylaxis because of the sodium channel inhibition. And the fourth is your it can be used for the treatment of bipolar disorders. Okay. Now what are the pharmacokinetics? So first is your oral. It can be going to oral route. It is lipid soluble, so can cross blood brain barrier. it is metabolized in liver by cyp450 in pregnancy cyp450 increases so the metabolism will be induced so in pregnancy cyp450 is induced okay plus plasma volume also increases so dose of lamotrigine is given uh, the dose of uh, lamotrigine should be increased during pregnancy okay and increase 33% dose because lamotrigine is the safest anti epileptic drug in pregnancy so we will use lamotrigine during that okay if there is epilepsy now it is also less protein binding capacity so uh, secreted in your glandular secretion and this is unsafe during breastfeeding because of the less protein binding because of the less protein binding its size will be smaller and because of that it can be secreted into your glandular secretion so this is unsafe during breastfeeding now what are the side effects so sedation that is the most common side effect it can lead to hypersensitivity reaction and leading to hsg syndrome and rarely it causes aseptic meningitis so this is all about your lamotrigine Now the next drug is your topiramate. Mechanism of action: sodium channel prolongation in its inactive state. Calcium channel inhibitor. It also inhibit your kinase receptor. And because of this, because of this diverse mechanism of action, it will be under your broad spectrum anti-epileptic drug. Clear? Now what are the indications? So first indication is your epilepsy. It can be used for generalized seizure and focal seizure both. The next uh, indication is neuralgia. The third indication is your migraine prophylaxis. it is also has anti cholinergic property remember this is very important okay it also has anti cholinergic property and because of this anti cholinergic property you can use it for the treatment of tremors okay it also is stimulate your 5s2 c receptor so increase satiety centers activation and that will cause weight loss so it can be used for the treatment of obesity so these two points are different from other anti epileptic drug in topiramate you are finding uh, these two indications some unique okay so the questions will be based on these two in okay so topiramate has anti cholinergic property as well as it can be used for the treatment of obesity now by some unknown mechanism it is also effective for alcohol de addiction now what are the pharmacokinetics so it can be given through oral route lipid soluble liver metabolism involved and it has less drug interaction what are the side effects so it can cause weight loss okay okay it can cause weight loss so it is used with fentramine to treat obesity as we discussed it also causes uh, muscarinic receptor block it also is has anti cholinergic property okay so so side effect will be dry mouth dry eyes and skin metriasis can cause your precipitation of glaucoma and because of this because of this ophthalmoscopic examination is done before starting topiramate this is a very very important mcq question which is usually asked okay before starting topiramate and during the course of topiramate you must go through ophthalmic examination okay because it can cause metriasis because of the anti cholinergic property and that can cause precipitation of the glaucoma it has also has carbonic anhydrase uh, inhibitor property so in this by carbonate loss so urine ph will be increased and calcium stone formation will also be increased it has less teratogenic property but can cause your hypocetiasis so avoided in pregnancy rarely psychotic syndrome okay 
so this is about your topiramate okay the last drug uh, is your ethosuximide the mechanism acts it causes calcium channel inhibition so it is narrow spectrum and it is used for treatment of absenteeism okay and in india it is drug of choice in children less than 2 years in india it is drug of choice ethosuximide pharmacokinetics oral and liver metabolism involved side effects are sedation and bone marrow suppression a recent uh, advance and the first drug is your jonisamide mechanism acts on sodium channel inhibitor it is also free radical scavenger and it is used for partial seizure and side effects are carbonic anhydride inhibitor that is metabolic acidosis hypohidrosis like this the next drug is lecosamide okay the mechanism of action is sodium channel inhibition it causes sodium channel inhibition okay and slow inactivation inactivation of the sodium channel will be done by this and side effects are pr prolongation suicidal tendency will be seen here okay so and this drug is included under black box warning okay black box warning so remember this because of the suicidal tendency this drugs this drug that is lecosamide is included under black box okay so this is about thank you